This is when things get real in the Europa League. It is time for the final, and there can be only one winner. Who's it going to be? Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It's Arsenal taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, this has everything, doesn't it? Two good teams, some top class players, and a couple of excellent coaches. What a final this should be. Now the attack fizzled out. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Well, it's always a delight to watch Bukayo Saka in action. We have that privilege today. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball. He can get himself out of tight situations. He can see a pass. He's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Havertz and tidy defensive play. Mo Salah. And he has options available. Martin Odegaard. Chance to finish. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Gakpo. Andrew Robertson. Back to Diaz. Gakpo must take the lead here. And a goal! Liverpool strike first in the final. And just listen to their fans. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, Jurgen Klopp knows that that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Gabriel, Rice with it, it's with Gabriel, Martin Odegaard, given away by Arsenal, well the perfect tackle really, and now a throw in, Luis Diaz, Endo, Elliot. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Havertz. Good high press. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Determined defending. Well, nearing the break here, and Liverpool hold the edge. Stuart, how about your assessment of what you've seen from them in this first 45? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances.
William Saliba. Thomas Partey. Rice with it. And here's Saliba. Martin Odegaard. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Havertz. And teammates to play it to. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. Back underway with Arsenal trying to find a route back into the match. Well, patient passing could be the key to bringing themselves level. Really important tackle. Now, maybe room here for the counter attack. Defenders need to cover. Promising looking ball. And it's still on. That is tackling of the highest order. Trossard. Rice with it. Saka. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. William Saliba. Havertz. Rosar. Arsenal chasing the game, but a corner kick here. And the substitution will occur now. And there's the delivery. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Saka. It's with Gabriel. Martin Odegaard. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Alexander Arnold. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Diaz. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Trying to handle the pressure. Dangerous looking attack. And there it is! A two goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Thomas Partey. Now in possession, Corsar. Martinelli. Could get themselves back into it. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Harvey Elliott. Alexander Arnold. Elliott. Now Mo Salah. Strong but fair tackle. Trossard. Can he get one back? Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. 
And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Rice. Can he finish? And it's in! They've eaten it to their advantage, and this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Well, look at this again. No real power, but great understanding of the situation. That's an excellent goal. Well, Jurgen Klopp is so frustrated. He knows this is going to be a tense game now. Five minutes left. Arsenal have possession again. Well, approaching full time, Liverpool with a narrow lead here. Can they make it a victory? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo. Oh, Stuart's a chance! Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible! Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Well, I have to say, you can understand Klopp's frustration. This is going to be a very nervy game now. Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner. Credit to them for winning back possession. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Arsenal did well to win back possession. Partey. Ben White. Trossard. Very quick thinking there. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Well, a joy to watch. Gakpo. Can they take the lead? Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. It's a short one. Excellent defending. White. Rice with it. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Martin Odegaard. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, who is going to come out on top? Let's see if we find out in the second period of extra time. Still passing it around with authority. Super tackle and they've won possession. 
Alexander Arnold. And here come Liverpool. A goal at this late stage might settle things. McAllister. And maybe a chance now for Liverpool from this corner. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Diaz on to Salah Robertson it always had the potential didn't it to go to a penalty shootout in this Europa League final and that is exactly what has transpired And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, this. And he scores! Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. He's gambled on direction and won. He scored in the bottom corner. And he steps up to take his penalty. Job done from the spot. And the penalty converted here. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. And there it is. Perfectly executed. So lethal in front of goal. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. And it's gone in. Well, it comes down to this. In, and they win. And there it is. That brings it to a conclusion. And a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League and now the trophy awaits them well these are always great moments for any player this is the culmination of a great tournament they've had they fully deserve this victory every player played his part tonight this is what they've wanted now it's in their possession the winners of the UEFA Europa League